Okay, so we're gonna talk about the hair and then we're gonna talk about, do you have to transform or change to manifest? Because this is a common question I get quite a bit, so I wanna answer it from my perspective. Hey everyone, my name is Kim Velez. I am a former trauma therapist, now turned life coach, transformation coach, manifestation coach, all of the above. I am really here to teach you in the most simplistic, easy fucking way possible how to manifest your dream life. New SP, same SP, more money, uh, dream life, whatever your dream life consists for you. I got your back, baby. And um, because I've had to do this and I keep doing this every day and I've had the privilege of helping thousands of you uh, in the last four and a half years of my co coaching career uh, really shift and uh, learned a lot from working with all of you as well. So the hair, this is what my hair looks like when I let it air dry, <laughs> which is never. <laughs> Um, I did not have time this morning and Lord, my hair was so dirty and I just couldn't take it anymore. So I had to wash it um, this morning. So you're just going to have to roll with it, babies. Uh, I'm not obviously in my natural element to the fact that it's blonde, which I'm not a natural blonde, but I am a natural with uh, texture and um, how it looks before I apply heat to it. <laughs> so this is a really good question, right? So when we look at manifesting, when we look at uh, do we need to transform? Well, first and foremost, let's look up what the definition of transform means because this will help put it in perspective. So one definition says make a thorough dramatic change in the form, appearance, or character of. Another one is, that was a verb. The noun interpretation is the act or process of transforming the state of being transformed, change in form, appearance, nature, or character. So listen, everything is relative to your current circumstances. You know, when we're looking at manifesting $50 could be life changing for someone. Um, who is in a financial situation where that 50 bucks could feed them for a month, right? It would change their lives. Um, somebody who has enough money and is uh, plenty of food in their cabinets and cupboards or whatever, uh, refrigerator, and, you know, is going out to eat all the time, that extra 50 bucks eh, really isn't going to be a big deal. So again, put it in perspective, understand, you know, your own situation, where you live in the world, what your circumstances are, because I can only speak from my circumstances, right? Because it's just me. I have my own experiences that I share through my perspectives of those. So when we look at I am really about life changing circumstances, right? I'm really about, I don't really care about the parking spots. I don't care about manifesting cups of coffee. Those tend to not happen more natural um, for me because it's just, I understand how powerful I am, right? Again, I'm not perfect with manifesting. No one is. I just keep going within. If I ever discover limiting beliefs or perspectives that are going to hinder me, or there's something being mirrored back to me, my 3D reality that is not what I want because I'm a goddess, because I'm a conscious manifester, I get to choose and select the story that I prefer and the reality I want instead. And I persist doing that and transforming myself until it changes. So when we look at the transformation, when we look at, you know, how this works, it's when we're dealing with self-concept, that's an identity shift, babes. An identity shift is a change in form, change in nature, change of character. You are fundamentally overhauling an entire belief system, characteristics of the old identity, the old self-concept. So old characteristics could have been not good enough, insecure, chase love, settled, uh, always lived, you know, anxious with money, misspent money. I don't know, whatever, right? Whatever negative behaviors you have in regards of your old self-concept that are not uh, the version of you. She wouldn't act and behave that way if she had the dream reality she wanted and she knew it was like permanent and only going to get better. So it does require a change in you. It requires change in your identity, your characteristics of who you thought you were and who you believed yourself to be to now decide, well, now I want to think this way of me and now I want to... Uh, have these certain traits and characteristics um, for this new version of myself, right? And then you persist in that until it becomes your natural form, your natural way of being and doing and all the all the things. So yes, it does to an extent, right? You know, like for me, manifesting a cup of coffee is not about me transforming, but it could be to someone who 
they do not believe they have the power to manifest consciously at all. They don't understand that everyone is you pushed out. They don't believe in thought transmission is real. So then when they consciously choose this for themselves and then they get the evidence in the 3D, that could be the circumstance that whoo, it changed their life. It was life altering. Uh, but even then that's still a transformation because the person had to choose and decide, okay, I'm going to think this way and I'm going to practice having a different characteristics about myself that even though before I thought it was stupid or silly or whatever, I'm going to say, you know what? Let's see if it works, right? That's a change in them. That's a change in their characteristics, I guess, right? So this is this is kind of the thing. But I want you to, instead of looking at it like, does it, does it have to be this way? Who cares? It doesn't have to be anyway, right? But it's really understanding what is the process of conscious manifesting and how do I make it as easy and effortless for myself as possible? And the two things that really do that are doing your self-concept work because when you change your characteristics of who you are and decide you're, you know, you've formed a new identity for yourself that knows their whatever, amazing, incredible, worthy, uh, the God of their reality has all the power and they get everything they want. Uh, well then if you really believe that and know that, and that's your truth, well then you're going to create and have that beautiful reality for yourself. Right. And it makes it easy. Um, and this is where we want to get to the easy effortless, effortless manifesting, which by the way, if you don't know, link is below. I have my $39 master Masterclass. It's a two-day live event next week, May 21st, May 22nd. That is all about trusting in the unseen, baby. And I deep dive into four powerful concepts about, you know, not reacting to 3D because we want to get to, I teach you the concepts that help you get to where manifesting does become easy and effortless. Because for most people, it isn't in the beginning. I know it wasn't for me when I felt unworthy and I was triggered constantly and I was, you know, dwelling dominantly in the old version of me. Uh, it did. It wasn't a fun process and it was cer certainly was did not feel fucking effortless. But it gets to be that when you transform and change these identities about yourself. So remember, it's not about, I have to have these rules in order to manifest or not manifest. I don't really look at things like that. I look at what is the process of conscious manifesting? What is conscious manifesting and how, what are the mechanisms to reprogram my mind? And then what is the process I'm going to do daily or whatever supports and benefits me in order to reprogram my mind so that I develop the new belief system that allows me to live the reality that I actually want. And then I just partake in that. I literally just fucking do that. And I trust in the process. I already know the shit works. Even when I feel like it's not fucking working, even if I'm triggered, even if I'm in a state or I'm experiencing a circumstance that is not desirable, I still do the process because I know the process works. But a lot of you don't even understand the process. So then you're kind of like shooting in the dark, right? And then you're that's how that's how we can get really misled by other people's interpretations, other people's limiting beliefs on what conscious manifesting is, um, other people really leading you down the path that doesn't allow you to reprogram your mind, um, which is why you guys stay stuck in manifestation limbo hell and why you still really feel awful dominantly and you're just really not getting major shifts or movements and you're just not changing. And that's not fun, right? It doesn't, it's not fun to feel unworthy. It's not fun to live in a reality where you don't like your life. It's not fun to really live in a state of fear and panic and insecurity and doubts. Like that shit, I live that. It sucks we, and we don't have to. So I would really, instead of it, like I said, ask the question, you know, I would really look at how about I start understanding what this means, the process, and then I know why I'm doing these things um, and that I'm going to keep doing the process because the process always works. All right, guys. I love you. I hope to see you in the masterclass. I'll see you soon. Bye.